According to Greek mythology, Alpheus was not just any ordinary river, but also a river god. He was deeply in love with a nymph called Arethusa, who was a devout follower of the goddess Artemis. Arethusa had made a decision to leave her homeland and seek refuge in the river Alpheus, where she could take a bath and find some peace. As she began to bathe in the river, Alpheus was instantly mesmerized and became infatuated with her beauty. He tried to make Arethusa his own, but she was determined to remain chaste and pure. She realized that she had to flee the river in order to preserve her purity and so, she ran to an island called Ortigia. Alpheus was heartbroken by this rejection and decided to follow her, using his waters to pursue Arethusa all the way to the island. Despite her efforts to escape, Arethusa was eventually caught and reunited with Alpheus, who merged with the sea to continue their pursuit of each other. They became the embodiment of everlasting love, and their story was told throughout the ages as a symbol of the transformative power of love. Beyond their love story, the river Alpheus was also considered a sacred site by the ancient Greeks. People would go to the river for spiritual and physical cleansing, believing in its purifying powers. In fact, Alpheus was even associated with the Olympic Games, believed to have flowed through the stadium where the ancient games were held. Today, the modern Olympic marathon ends at the site of the ancient stadium, inspired by the river Alpheus and its significance to the ancient Greeks. Alpheus, the passionate hunter, had his heart set on winning the love of the beautiful nymph, Arethusa. However, no matter how much he pursued her, she continued to refuse his advances. One day, Arethusa fled to the island of Ortigia, hoping to escape Alpheus' relentless pursuit. But Alpheus was undeterred, and he transformed himself into a river to try and unite his waters with Arethusa's. Arethusa, desperate to escape Alpheus, changed herself into a well on the island of Ortigia. This well, now known as the Arethusa Fountain, is a symbol of Syracuse, and it is said that there exists a natural underground connection between the well and the Alpheus River. However, according to Roman writer Ovid, the story of Alpheus and Arethusa had a different ending. In Ovid's version of the story, Arethusa was transformed into a well by the goddess Artemis, who was trying to help her escape from Alpheus' unwanted advances. In yet another version of the story, Artemis herself became the object of Alpheus' love. To evade his advances, she covered her face with mud, which resulted in the construction of a temple in Latrini and Ortigia, containing shrines for both Artemis and Alpheus. Despite his failed attempts to win the heart of Arethusa, Alpheus went on to achieve great feats. Hercules diverted the river to clean out the Aegean stables in a single day, a feat previously thought to be impossible. The story of Alpheus and his unrequited love remains a fascinating myth in Greek mythology. Once upon a time, there was a mighty river god named Alpheus. He was one of the many children of the titans Oceanus and Tethys. Alpheus was known for his great power and influence in the ancient world. According to Greek mythology, Alpheus had a son named Orsilochus. Orsilochus was born to Alpheus by the fairest princess, Telegon. Orsilochus became a great king in his own right, and through him, Alpheus became the proud grandfather of two soldiers, Crethon and Orsilochus, who were both renowned warriors. Unfortunately, during the Trojan War, Crethon and Orsilochus were killed by the legendary hero Aeneas. This was a tragic event that brought great sadness to Alpheus and his family. However, the story of Alpheus did not end there. He was also believed to be the father of Melanthea, who gave birth to Irene, a child of the sea god Poseidon. Additionally, there is another account in Greek mythology that recognizes Alpheus as the father of Phoenissa, who may have been the mother of Endymion by Zeus. Despite the hardships that Alpheus and his family faced, they were remembered for their strength, bravery, and important place in the ancient world. Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.